really helps Feld's bottom line as well. And the newer the arena that you have, the more people want to come and watch the event. And what else is nice? You're not under a dusty tent. You're in a nice <laughs> air-conditioned building. Coming up next, we talk with Jeff Gordon about his ventures off the track when we return on Ford Sports Money, presented by Fox Business Network. Ford Sports Money is brought to you in part by IOTV. Get incredible HD picture and sound free with IOTV. Yeah, good to have you back once again on Forbes Sports Money presented by Fox Business Network. Now, it's not unusual to see athletes change representation when they feel that another agency can increase their earning potential outside of the sport they compete in. But an interesting case is Jeff Gordon, who left IMG after 10 years for representation by an agency that is offering Gordon an increase in his revenue inside motorsports as well as outside of it. Just Marketing International, JMI, up to this point, it's represented only corporate clients looking for exposure in the motorsports marketing track rather than drivers who are typically looking for endorsements and sponsors. But Jeff Gordon isn't just a driver. He's one of the most well-known brands in all of motorsports. He's also an athlete transitioning from an employee to an employer. He gained an equity stake in the team that he races for, Hendrick Motorsports. And now, toward the end of his career, Gordon is securing a position for himself as a mover and shaker in the motorsports business world. Michael Ozanian spoke with Jeff Gordon and the head of JMI as they make moves for the top position, both on and off the track. You're really in the prime of your career, yet you're making a shift from IMG marketing over to just marketing international. Why did you make that change? With IMG, I was really trying to focus on things outside of the sport. Uh, and, and I love their presence in, in New York City. Um, and they did a great job. I mean, doing you know things like Tag Heuer, uh, Elizabeth Arden, some of those things were great. But I think that what I'm seeing with JMI is they have the ability to do those things as well as uh, take it to a whole nother level. Right now, about half your income or so comes from winnings on the track, the other half from licensing and endorsements. Is the move to JMI about changing the economic model to getting a higher percentage of your earnings off the racetrack? Well, I think as I get closer and closer to retirement, that's you know definitely what we'd like to do because uh, you know that that income of driving the car is is going to go away one day. And, and, you know, that part of my income is big and it's something that's, you know, hard to replace because driving a race car is risky and it's the one thing I've, you know, been doing all my life uh, and sort of a, a specialized, I guess, talent and in a sport that's, that's grown tremendously. So seeing the numbers that, that come along with that, I'm always overwhelmed with, with what I've been able to, to, to earn there. But I don't expect to just go and replace that with something right. else. So it's going to take a lot of work and, and a lot of uh, different strategies. And that's where I think JMI really comes in into play. Zach Brown is the founder and CEO of JMI, a former professional race car driver who started Just Marketing International in 1995, an agency that is now the global leader in motorsports marketing. Did you pursue Jeff Gordon or did he pursue you? Jeff pursued us, which was uh, very flattering, and contacted us about six months ago and was looking for some new representation and uh, looking to kind of take him forward from today's success as a four-time champion all the way through the end of his career and post-career, which I don't think is quite yet around the corner, uh, so I wouldn't read too much into that yet, uh, and, and wanted to be uh, exposed internationally. We have a large international footprint, and so I think for a variety of those reasons, contacted us, and we were uh, very pleased to get into a new line of business. Well, you're the largest motorsports agency in the world, but you've never represented a driver before. What was your reaction when he called you? He's the biggest guy in, in NASCAR, is a living legend, and, and so when he approached us, we thought, what a fantastic opportunity, and if we were ever going to get into driver representation, Jeff would be the guy to do it with, and so we jumped all over it. We didn't even have to think about it. Was there any hesitation at all, even based on the fact that Jimmy Johnson's been so dominant, and Jeff now is in his late 30s. Were you thinking, you know, possible has been here? 
No, not, not at all. He's won four championships. You know, he almost won it last year. He's the biggest name in, in NASCAR. Uh, Dale Jr. is certainly a, a huge name, but doesn't have the results to, to kind of support that. So, um, you know, Dale's got to get on with winning some championships here shortly. Jeff, uh, uh, like any baseballer, or Michael Jordan, his, his legacy is going to live way beyond uh, when he's racing on the track. How important is it that Jeff has a good season this year in terms of building the type of businesses that you want to steer him towards? I think it's important he has a good year every year. Uh, you know, he, he has been around for a while. Jimmy's doing great. So, you know, some people chat about, well, is Jimmy the, the new Jeff? And, and certainly Jimmy's his own man and doing fantastic. Jeff's competitive. Uh, he's still winning races. But, you know, clearly people want to be associated with a winner. And I think that's something he's going to have to think about is, you know, there's been some very famous athletes that stay too long. I think Jeff has every intention of winning his last race whenever that last race may come. How much money could Jeff Gordon's outside businesses potentially earn? He could get, you know, depending on what businesses he gets into from a sponsorship standpoint, I think he's worth tens of millions of, of dollars. You get into the right business venture, you could build a hundred, two hundred, three hundred million dollar uh, business entity. So, you know, certainly eight figures. I wouldn't rule out nine figures if we get him in the, involved in the right business atmosphere. And what type of businessman will the four-time champion become? The thing is, I'm very risky in my day-to-day -day life because of racing. You know, that's, that's what it takes. So in my investment world life, I try to be pretty conservative. Um, when I'm no longer racing, you know, then there's going to be other areas where I can be uh, a little more risky. And I think it's just kind of in my nature. You know, I, I, I am a bit of a risk taker. I guess that's why I've been successful in the, in, behind the wheel of a race car. All right, Michael, Jeff Gordon, it would seem on the outside, you say, well, he has enough money just from inside the motorsports world. So why go outside? Well, I'll tell you right now, Bob, number one, the economy is hammering NASCAR. Licensing revenue has plummeted. Even his licensing revenue, and he's one of the top brands in all of NASCAR, fell $3 million in 2009. This year, 2010, winnings on the racetrack are going to be down by perhaps more than 10 percent because the racetracks just aren't getting the ticket revenue that they were in the past. The other thing, as David Hill, the CEO of Fox Sports, said, NASCAR has been losing its young audience, and that drove the sport over the last 15 years. So you, to, to keep earning your money at this level, you're going to have to go outside of NASCAR. And, and it's interesting, isn't it, that Gordon transitioned from just a driver to part team owner, so he kind of gets hit with a double whammy down with the economy going down he gets hit not only in the pocketbook as a driver but part owner of a team that's absolutely right that's why he's going to be looking to be an active participant in businesses outside of nascar such as for instance designing race courses uh, he could get involved in anything like reality tv merchandise but he's either going to be an equity owner or somebody who's an active participant in the business in terms of design that sort of thing all right interesting we've got to take a break but when we